sports betting fans, huge hello. Your sports betting advisor tips and streams is here again. Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. We put a lot of effort into making betting simple for you, and we offer this service for free. So kindly ask you to support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. What do we have today? We have predictions for 12 NBA games for November 4th. Before we get started, go to tipsandstreams.com and sign up for our newsletter to receive our daily sports betting picks in your inbox. So, let's get started. The first of today's 12 matches is the match between Washington Wizards and Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets have had a particularly difficult start, losing six of their first eight games. They will be aiming to rebound after losing to the Bulls by a score of 108-99. The Washington Wizards have been playing well, splitting their first eight games, and they should feel better after ending a three-game losing streak by defeating the 76ers on the road 121-111. For the Nets Simmons, Irving, and Warren are out with Curry questionable, while Jalon Wright is out for the Wizards. In terms of defensive effectiveness, the Nets rank lowest in the league, allowing 118.3 points per 100 possessions. They are giving up 47% shooting and 41.2% from three-point range. The Wizards are a better defensive team, and in offense, they have practically the same possibilities as the Nets. Play Washington Wizards minus 1.5. The second match for today is the match between New York Knicks and Philadelphia 76ers. After losing to the Hawks in a 112-99 defeat, the New York Knicks have been stuck in a rut and are currently riding a three-game losing skid. The Philadelphia 76ers have been playing well lately, winning four of their previous six contests. However, they were halted in their tracks by the Wizards in a 121-111 setback, and they will be looking to rebound. The 76ers could be short-handed as James Harden is out, Matisse Thibel is questionable, and Joel Embiid will probably be ready for this game. The 76ers, even without Harden, are still the more talented team here. The Knicks' poor offensive performance will be crucial in this game. They sit 19th in offensive efficiency averaging 111.3 points per 100 possessions. Play Philadelphia 76ers minus 2.5. The next match is the match between Miami Heat and Indiana Pacers. The Miami Heat have been playing well lately, winning four of their last seven games. They will be going for their third consecutive win after edging the Kings at home by a score of 110-107. The Indiana Pacers, who have dropped five of their first eight games, have been stuck in a rut and will be looking to rebound after the Nets snap their two-game winning run in a 116-109 away setback. The Heat are giving up 49.6% shooting on the road and 38.6% from three-point range. When it comes to defensive effectiveness, they are 20th in the league, allowing 114.9 points per 100 possessions. Jimmy Butler and Victor Oladipo are both out, and Bam Adebayo is now listed as uncertain, so the Heat will be short-handed for this match. Head-to-head, -head, the Miami Heat are 4-1 ATS in the last five meetings in Indiana, and they are 7-3 ATS in the last 10 meetings overall. Play Miami Heat minus 4. The next match is the match between Cleveland Cavaliers and Detroit Pistons. One of the league's biggest surprises, the Cleveland Cavaliers are now aiming for a 7th straight victory after outlasting the Celtics in a thrilling 114-113 overtime home victory. The Detroit Pistons have had a terrible start to the season, losing 7 of their first 9 contests. They will be looking to end a two-game losing streak after suffering a 116-91 away defeat to the Bucs. As Darius Garland, Raul Nito, and Donovan Mitchell are all listed as questionable for this game, the Cavaliers may be seriously shorthanded, while the Pistons will once again be without Marvin Bagley and Alec Burks. The Pistons have covered the spread in three of their previous five games despite playing a difficult schedule that included it two games against the Bucs and Hawks as well as one at home against the Golden State Warriors. Head-to-head, -head, the Cavaliers are 1-4 ATS in the last five meetings overall. Play Detroit Pistons plus 8. The next match is the match between Chicago Bulls and Boston Celtics. The Chicago Bulls are in excellent form as they have won four of their last six games. After thrashing the Hornets 106-88 at home, they will be aiming for a third consecutive win. The Boston Celtics are in a slump as they have dropped three of their last four games. They will be looking to pull out of it after being stopped in their tracks by the hot Cavaliers in a 114-113 road defeat in extra time. 
while the Celtics are shooting 51% from the field and 40% from beyond the arc at home. The Bulls are converting on 50% of their shots and 40.3% of their three-point attempts on the road. Head-to-head, -head, the Bulls are 5-1 ATS in the previous six meetings overall. The absences of Lonzo Ball, Andre Drummond, and Kobe White leave the Bulls with a reduced roster for this game. Play Boston Celtics minus 6.5. The next match is the match between Charlotte Hornets and Memphis Grizzlies. The Charlotte Hornets have been in a serious rut as they have dropped four of their last five games. They will be looking to snap a two-game losing streak after being thrashed 106-88 on the road by the Bulls. The Memphis Grizzlies have been in pretty good form, winning five of their first eight games, and they'll be keen to keep it up after eking out a 111-106 away victory against the Trail Blazers. The Grizzlies are averaging 117.3 points on 46.7% shooting allowing 119.5 points on 47.2% shooting, and from the three-point line they are allowing 37.7%. At home, they are averaging 121.5 points per 100 possessions. Zaire Williams and Jaron Jackson Jr. are out for the Grizzlies, while Amelo Ball, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, and Cody Martin are all out for the Hornets. Head-to-head, -head, the Hornets are 6-2 ATS in the last eight meetings in Memphis. Play Charlotte Hornets and Memphis Grizzlies under 229.5. The next match is the match between Los Angeles Clippers and San Antonio Spurs. The Los Angeles Clippers will be going for their third consecutive win after defeating the Rockets in a 109-101 road triumph. The Clippers have been playing decent as they have split their opening eight games. The San Antonio Spurs, who has won five of their first eight games overall, have been one of the league's biggest surprises but they'll be keen to rebound in this game after being stopped in their tracks by the Raptors in a 143-100 defeat. The Spurs sit 25th in defensive efficiency allowing 116.2 points per 100 possessions, while the Clippers are 29th in offensive efficiency scoring 101.9 points per 100 possessions. Despite the blowout defeat by the Raptors, the Spurs had won five of their previous six games. Romeo Langford, Isaiah Robbie, and Zach Collins are all listed as questionable for the Spurs, whilst Collie Leonard and Robert Covington won't be with the team for the Clippers. Play San Antonio Spurs plus 4.5. The next match is the match between Golden State Warriors and New Orleans Pelicans. The Golden State Warriors have been in a serious slump lately, having dropped five of their previous six contests. They will be looking to halt a dismal four-game losing streak after falling short on the road against the lowly Magic in a 130-129 setback. The New Orleans Pelicans have been playing well as they have won four of their first seven games, but they will be looking to rebound in this game after losing to the Lakers by a slim margin on the road in an overtime game, 120-117. For the Warriors, this game is back-to-back, -back, and they play their third game in four nights, facing travel in each game. In each of their last five road games, they have lost and failed to beat the spread. The Warriors are bottom in the league for road defense efficiency, giving up 122.4 points per 100 possessions. The Warriors will again be without Dante DiVincenzo, while the Pelicans Brandon Ingram and Herbert Jones are both questionable. Play New Orleans Pelicans minus 4.5. The next match is the match between Toronto Raptors and Dallas Mavericks. The Toronto Raptors who have won four of their last five games, are really starting to heat up. They will be going for their third consecutive victory after destroying the Spurs 143-100 on the road. The Dallas Mavericks have been playing well lately, winning three of their last four games overall. They'll be hoping to keep their winning ways going after edging out the Jazz 103-100. The Raptors are third in offensive efficiency averaging 115.8 points per 100 possessions while the Mavericks are second in offensive efficiency averaging 117.9 points per 100 possessions. Davis Bertrands and Frank Tawakina are ruled out for the Mavericks, while Fred Van Vliet is currently listed as questionable for the Raptors. Head-to-head, -head, the Raptors are 4-1 ATS in the last five meetings overall. Play Toronto Raptors and Dallas Mavericks under 218.5. The next match is the match between Portland Trail Blazers and Phoenix Suns. The Portland Trail Blazers have been in excellent form, winning five of their first seven games overall. However, they will be hoping to rebound in this game after losing to the Grizzlies by a score of 111-106.
Following their 116-107 victory over the Timberwolves, the Phoenix Suns, who have won six of their first seven games overall, will be aiming for their sixth straight victory. The Trailblazers allow 46.3% from the field and 36.5% from beyond the arc. In terms of defensive effectiveness, the Suns rank sixth, surrendering 106.4 points per 100 possessions. Head-to-head, -head, the Suns are 5-1 ATS in the last six meetings in Phoenix. Damian Lillard is still out for the Trailblazers, and Anthony Simons is labeled as questionable. Cameron Payne and DeAndre Ayton are back on the court for the Suns. Play Phoenix Suns minus 10. The next match is the match between Utah Jazz and Los Angeles Lakers. The Utah Jazz has been in excellent form, winning six of their first nine games overall. They will be looking to rebound after losing on the road to the Mavericks by a score of 103-100. In the loss they shot 46% from the field with 33% from the three-point range. Despite starting the season with five straight defeats, the Los Angeles Lakers are now aiming for their third straight win after outlasting the Pelicans in a dramatic 120-117 overtime triumph. The Lakers are last in offensive efficiency as they average 100.8 points per 100 possessions. Anthony Davis is listed as uncertain for the Lakers due to back pain. The Lakers have little depth, so losing AD is a significant blow for them. I don't like their chances if Davis is unable to play. Watch the Lakers injury report closely. Play Utah Jazz and Los Angeles Lakers under 227.5. The last match for today is the match between Milwaukee Bucks and Minnesota Timberwolves. Following a 116-91 victory against the Pistons, the Milwaukee Bucks, who have won seven straight games to open the season, will be seeking to keep their winning ways going. The Minnesota Timberwolves have split their first eight games overall and have been in excellent form but they will be looking to rebound after being halted by the Suns in a 116-107 road defeat. The Bucks are again playing high-efficiency defense. They sit tops in defensive efficiency allowing 101.3 points per 100 possessions. The Timberwolves' defense holds teams to 43.4% with 35.2% from three. The Timberwolves are 10th in defensive efficiency allowing 108.5 points per 100 possessions. As for the Bucks, Johnny Zantabacampo is listed as day-to-day, -day, while Pat Connaughton and Chris Middleton are out. Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobbert are labeled as questionable for the Timberwolves. Play Minnesota Timberwolves plus four. Guys, that would be all. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and newsletter. See you tomorrow.